Dixie Bama Nation, Dixie Jean here, getting ready for Bad Be the Eleven coming Commerce Casino, October 25th. All right, I know you guys are getting ready for Halloween. Lots of tricks and lots of treats, but it's going to be a real treat. 15 fights set for this card. Right now we're talking with Ozzy Avalos going up against Ishmael, the officer Gonzalez. So how is it with your weight cut so far? Uh, it's pretty easy. I mean, you know, I fought like a month ago, so my weight was already kind of down, so I just kept training and... You know, it hasn't been that hard, so, and, you know, I eat vegan now, so, of course, it's going to go down no matter what. Vegan? Yeah. Well, that seems like a, a transition for you. How has that been so far? It's hard, man. I'm Mexican. I like to eat, you know, a lot of meat, you know, but now I can't, you know. Well, at least not completely. I just do it during the week, and the weekends I try to, you know, like, eat some protein, but during the week I don't touch it. Gotcha. Well, you're definitely a guy that has a lot of firsts going with mm. Bad Beat 1, going all the way back with us. And then just doing some pro series, first in a couple different places. Now back for Bad Beat 11, first time at 160. How is yeah. that going to be? You know, it's finally feels better that I'm fighting guys like that I'm stronger than. You know, I mean, Ishmael is taller, but I bet I'm the stronger fighter, you know. I mean, I wrestled since I was little, and that just plays a big part because wrestlers are always strong. They're always going forward, you know. They're never backing up. And we know that he's not that good against wrestlers, so, you know, that's a big advantage that I have against him. And my jiu-jitsu is pretty sick. So, Well, looking at your record, you are kind of a guy that gets guys to submit. You have one knockout in your favor, but you're more of a submission guy. What's that about? Yeah, you know, I try to stand with people, and then they make the mistake of tying up with me. And if you tie up with me, you know, I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to hurt you. So I just rather take it to the ground. And you know what? I know I can. I have chokes. I have arm bars. I have leg locks. I have heel hooks. You know, my professors a beast, so he makes me look like white belt, and it's not just getting me better, so, you know, wherever the fight goes, I'm going to try to end it quick, and I'm not going to try to prolong it. I mean, yeah, it's good for the crowd, but it's not good for me, you know, I want to keep fighting for, for a long time, hopefully. Well, you are mentioning earlier that Ishmael has a little bit of hype on your, and that's his favor. Yeah. What do you think is going to go into your favor going into this fight? Um, well, you know, I fought Jay Silva back in my first fight. He's probably the same height or a little bit taller than, than Ishmael. Um, he had nothing but strikes, kicks, knees. Same thing, he tried to kick me over and over, I kept taking him down, you know, and almost, you know, he just got lucky in the third round, and it was my first fight, I know how to, how to condition, and now it's totally different me, I know how to condition, I know how to, you know, pace myself, I know how to block, you know, my boxing's good, my tie's good, so I think he's going to have a big problem in a sense, he said he's going to knock me out in the first round, but, you know. You're saying no. I don't, you know, it's going to be hard, I mean, you know, I don't talk bad about anybody, but I know that I'm, what I'm good at, I'm good at, you know, basically um, uh, making sure that, you know, I have the distance, you know how to go in, I know how to take people down, and I'm not sure if he knows, but, you know, just, I have, just my senior year, I was probably one of the top three wrestlers in the nation, so I know how to take people down, and if you think, you, you know, you can learn it over probably like a week or two, then, you know, going to train with someone, then it's going to take a lot more than that. I've been wrestling since I was nine years old. Speaking of nicknames, you have an interesting one. Yeah. Ishmael, the officer, pretty straightforward. He is a cop. Yeah. What's yours? Well, everybody calls me El Gallito, which means the little rooster in um, Spanish. You know, and it's just basically how I fight. Everybody's like, you know, when you get out there, it's just like you go straight forward, you know, just like when they put two roosters to fight, you know, it's to the death. And you just, they're like, that's what you reminded us. That was actually all my wrestling friends and my, peop my people that are on my, my Facebook, you know, they're like, they kind of voted on it. They're like, yeah, you're El Gallito. So I went with that. So a little rooster, is that something mm. you're going to maintain now that you've gone vegan? <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, it works. And that's exactly how I fight when I go in there. You know, I'm not scared. People ask me all the time, hey, are you scared? Are you nervous? I'm like, no. I've been competing since I was nine years old in wrestling. So it's the same since thing. Since you were a little rooster. Yeah, since I was a little rooster, yes. So it's the same thing. You, know, you just go in there, you're prepared, you know. And if you're prepared, you got nothing to worry about. All right, well, now big little rooster getting ready to actually go down and wait. Yeah. And what was your incentive to go down and wait? I don't want to be the smaller fighter anymore. Every time I fought, like, at 185s, even 170s, it was, like, these guys that were bigger than me. And it was funny because all of them thought they were going to beat me up. You know, they were like, yeah, well, he's a small guy. And it's like, obviously, you know, I'm the smaller, stronger guy and more technical guy. So, you know, now just moving down and wait is just going to make me better and better. So, you know, try to make a big show and, you know, put on a show for you guys. Well, it sounds good, especially going up against Ishmael. He has a little bit of height on you on this right. one, so he probably has a little bit more reach. What's going to be your little thing that puts you above him in this fight? You know, I can get, I can get under big guys real easy. You know, they're easier to lift. 
I got long legs, it's more leg to grab onto for a takedown. So you know what, and I got some heavy hands, so I mean, you know, when you combine them both, it's just like, it's, it's my fight to lose, you know, that's how I see it, you know. He is, obviously, doesn't have what I have, you know, he has stand-up, I have that. He doesn't have wrestling, I have that. He doesn't have jiu-jitsu, I have that, so. And it reflects in your, in your record right yeah. now, being that you have five submissions and uh, one knockout, or? Yeah. Yeah? Talk us through it. Do you plan on it going to submission, or it just ends up being that way? No, I mean, you know, I've talked to my brother, and talked to my coaches, they're like, oh, man, in practice, you're just, you know, rocking people left and right, and then you get in there, and they tie up, and you take them down, I'm like, you know, it's like, you can't not wait till, you know, like, you know, push them off or anything, because it's like, you never know, they can finish you off, it's a fight, it's MMA, so you just gotta make sure that, you know, that you finish as soon as you can, so, but I mean, I'm never afraid to stand up, I mean, like I said, I've stand up with a lot of guys every day, I've stand up with Josh Burnett, that guy's like 260, man, and, he's a big know, guy, he's beat me up pretty bad, so, you know, stand up with Jack May, my boy's fighting, and psh, that guy hits, like, he has bricks in his hands, so, you know, I'm not afraid. Why Ishmael? I know he just fought with Bellator, he had the TV series he was on, is that a little bit more of an incentive to take him on for this fight? Well, yeah, you know, I mean, Brett offered it to me and I was like, you know, I didn't even know who the guy was, and I looked him up and I'm like, alright, you know, he has good stand-up and, you know, I want to fight guys that have better stand-up, so that's kind of what, like, got me to, okay, I'll take this guy on, you know, and I saw my friend fought him, my friend Joe, and obviously Joe just did a single and took him down and he couldn't get up and I was, I couldn't believe him, I'm like, you know, is your, your wrestling is that bad that like, you can't get back up? Hmm. I'm like, it's mixed martial arts, it's not kickboxing or karate, you know, so you got to be able to mix it up to be in the sport and last. Well, going into it, the last pro series you just did with us, you actually won submission of the night before you supported that. They're actually going to be sponsoring that for this fight. Is that a little bit more of a motivation for you? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, everybody needs cash right now. So, I mean, just like Ishmael, I work a full-time job and I train full-time. I get home at 12.30 at night, usually at 1, you know, from training. So, yeah, I need the money. So, you know, I want to submit or, you know, knock out as soon as I can. And who are you training with right now? Uh, I train everywhere. I train at Gracie Baja. I train, um with uh, Martin Machado, I train with uh, All In MMA, I, psh, man, I train uh, um, with Balf Watch, so, you know, I'm training all my wrestling with the, the Santa College guys, so I'm everywhere, you know, wherever I can get training, I go, I go do it, whoever's beating me up, I go over there, because you don't want to just beat up people, you want to get beat up, that's how you get better. Now with our fights, we have a sponsor, Be First Clothing, they like to sponsor Fight of the Night, Submission Night, Knockout of the Night. The last series that we did, you won one of those, correct? Yeah, I ended up uh, getting a uh, guillotine choke in the first round. Um, so submission of the night. Yeah, submission of the night. And they, you Walk know, us through that. So, you know, I came out and he did this uh, sidekick, um, which my coach told me he was going to do. And, you know, I kind of just closed the distance. And when I closed the distance, he, um, he kind of, you know, tied up with me. So I took him down. I landed right in his lap. And I sunk in the choke, which I knew it was the end, but it was on his chin, so I hit him once on the ribs. And it's kind of like he was giving up because he, he intentionally picked up his chin and I, you know, just put my arm through and, you know, finished the choke. I mean, I'm really good at guillotine chokes, so, you know, that was, that was it. I mean, 52 seconds, so, but, you know, it's just thankful that there's company out there like them, like Be First, that, you know, can sponsor us and give us more money because obviously, you know, we don't make that much money, but it's fun to do it for the crowd, so. It's a lot of sacrifice, so it's that oh, yeah. extra little incentive. Yeah, it's always good. Now going into this, being that you are a local fighter and so is Ishmael, there's a lot of intermixing with different fighters and you hear some things and you hear other things and uh, sometimes it contradicts itself or it kind of pushes you to focus on certain things. What do you focus on going into this fight though? Um, I mean, you know, a lot of my training partners have been training with Ishmael and it's, it's not a bad thing. I mean, obviously fighting locally, you know, he's a local fighter, I'm a local fighter, we're going to intermix. and. You know, as long as, like I said, as long as you're prepared, you got nothing to worry about. He can train with my train partners, you know, after the fight he can come over, I can go over, I'm sure. I know some of his training partners that he trains with, actually, I wrestled with them during high school, so. Right. You know, I hear everything that he does, I'm sure he's heard everything I, I do. He's probably got on YouTube and watched me, you know, grapple Jeff Monson or, you know, doing Grappler's Quest. And so, I don't see it as a bad thing, you know, obviously, it's going to happen. And All that is kind of sidebar once yeah, you're in the cage. You know, once you're in the cage, it's you know, it's one on one, and it's not a team thing. It's just you and him, and you know, it's whoever's trained best and has the better, you know, strategy to fight. But yeah, I mean, actually, one of his good friends is my friend, and he's like, yeah, hey, you're fighting my friend. And I was like, 
He's like, it's cool. Yeah. My question is, who is he buying a ticket for? <laughs> you or him? Oh, he better buy it for me. He wrestled with me in high school. <laughs> <laughs> so you yeah. have the history in your favor. Yeah, I think so. Well, there's a lot of fights going on with you. And then this actually October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. For us, it means a lot with personal relationships that we have. Is that a little bit more incentive that we're kind of focused on, you know, fighting that good fight as well? Yeah, actually, you know, because I do have just a coworker that just is going through it and we feel bad for her. But, you know, she has, she just has one son and, you know, she just had one lump. And probably within a month, you just see her deteriorate. And it's like, you know, it's crazy how insane that is. And, you know, we just gotta make more people more aware that there's things you can do, like donate money, or like today we had uh, people come over and we had a, a, a food truck come over and it was, you know, they donated half of the money to, to her because she's not getting that income that she would before. So yeah, you know, it's always good to make press cancer awareness. And just how much can change in just a yeah. short amount of time, especially yeah. with these fights going into these different rounds. You think it's gonna go all three rounds? Um, you know, I don't make predictions, but I mean, I'm ready for like five rounds. I'm doing five five minute rounds right now and I can do it like nothing. So I hope he can do that, you know? If not, it's just gonna be a problem. If he, if he doesn't knock me out within the first round, then you know, it's, it's war. <laughs> All right, we're well, going into this. Any shout outs you wanna give to your sponsors? Um, yeah, I wanna say, uh, you know, to Alpha King Apparel. I wanna say, you know, thanks for all the support. Ever since first day, even during my losses, you supported me. Um, to Ricky Gonzalez, he's uh, one of my biggest supporters too. He gives me money, he's like, here, you know, Here's what I order whatever you want and you can, you know, just give me the receipts. I mean, you know, all my sponsors, they know who they are, you know. I have a lot of them, so I don't want to mention all, but they all know that. I always shout them out in my Instagram, so. Well, Ozzy, best of luck with the rest of your training. We're not too far out, so um, make sure you stay healthy. Yeah. It's probably the number one priority right now for you, oh, correct? Yeah. And being vegan, make sure you get your iron, sun <laughs> iron supplements as much as you can. Yeah. And we look forward to seeing you okay. coming weigh ins. All right, cool. All right, again, Ozzy. Avalos, you can see him October 25th at Commerce Casino taking on Ishmael, the officer Gonzalez.